Hello friends, this video on air and water pollution part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are introduction, pollution, air pollution, causes and control, greenhouse effect, global warming, water pollution causes and control. So here we are going to talk about air and water pollution. Pollution is a very common term. You must have come across it either while writing an essay or in newspapers or in news channels where we see that the pollution is continuously increasing day by day. So here in this lesson we will see what is pollution, what causes pollution and how can we control it. Now tell me something, what makes you feel happy? What kind of environment would make you feel happy? Maybe something like this which you see on the screen where you see greenery all around, you have clean air to breathe in, you have a fresh atmosphere, everything is neat and clean around you and that is the I mean, that is the condition when you are also happy and your parents are also relaxed sending you to play. Now instead of this, if your playground is full of dirt and dust and insects, do you think that your parents will allow you to go to the playground and play? They will not because they will continuously worry that my child might fall ill. Now why are they getting worried because of this? Because these dirt, dust, uh, organisms, insects, flies, all these are capable of making you ill. So what makes us happy is a clean, green environment. So when everything is clean, neat, pollution free, that is when we are happy. But unfortunately, on the contrary, there are certain things which bother us, not only us, but our environment as well. So what are those undesirable components? Now, there are certain unwanted things which are also present in the environment and when they are present, they don't let us be happy anymore. Now when these unwanted harmful substances are present, then they can bother us because they are harmful. So if these harmful substances somehow get inside our body, they can cause diseases, they can make us fall ill. And that's what scares us. So we are not happy with this kind of an environment. Now when these unwanted harmful substances are present in the environment, we say that the environment is polluted. And that is where pollution comes into picture. So whenever you have such demons, now what are these demons or devils? They are some harmful substances. We are going to talk about them. What exactly are they? But when these substances are present in our environment, our environment gets polluted. So due to the presence of these undesirable substances, the green earth is gradually getting converted to polluted earth. So green earth is the one where you have a lot of green plants, where you, have, you do not have smoke and dust and it is all smoke and dust free. So you do not have dirty substances here, you do not have harmful substances here. So that is the green earth and that is why we call it green because all we can see everywhere is greenery, that is green plants. So you only see variety of living organisms everywhere. But when you talk about this polluted earth, it is all blackish. So even your green plants, the number of your green plants have reduced because many of them died because of pollution. And whichever is left over, they are all covered with dust and smoke and smog. So now your green earth doesn't look green anymore. Now it looks kind of grayish or blackish. So that is what is happening as pollution is increasing day by day. So the green is getting converted to black. And it needs attention. So if you look at the data, there are certain organizations which make a list of data, who sees the, who looks at the statistics and it has been seen that just because of air pollution, that is the air getting polluted with undesirable substances. So due to the presence of such harmful substances in air and when that air is breathed in, it causes diseases in many human beings, not only human beings but all forms of animals and plants and many of them get killed. And here in this picture you see, it, it lists various countries 
and here you can see some head count. Now, what are these count for? They actually resemble, they actually indicate the deaths caused by air pollution in various countries. So, this is a data for a particular over a particular span of year. But just look at this data, it doesn't matter what exactly the numbers are. But if you look at it, you see China is the one which has highest number of deaths due to air pollution. That proves that air pollution is terrifically bad in China. Again, the next position is occupied by India and we all stay in India. So it is quite unfortunate that all these countries which are listed here, they all have really bad pollution in their environment because of which so many people are actually dying every year. So here the number of people which are drawn that doesn't indicate the exact number of persons. The exact number is in thousands. So several people die every year due to pollution. So pollution is a killer. So obviously it needs immediate attention. So large number of deaths are caused due to environmental pollution. So this data is only due to air pollution. Now air pollution is not the only type of pollution. You have water pollution where the water also gets polluted. You have soil pollution where the soil gets polluted and all each of these forms of pollution cause disaster. They cause huge loss to living organisms. So because of this we are now worried. So we thought how it should be, how our environment should look like. So this is how we expect our environment to be. So you see here, clean green fields where you do not have a lot of dust. You can actually, you should be actually able to see the clear blue sky. You should have clean pathways, clean streets, clean roads, no, not much of uh, traffic, not much of jam, not too much crowded. So you should have sufficient amount of space for each one of us, not only us, but for each one of the living organism. You should have greenery everywhere, as you can see here. You should have a sweet home with little bit of greenery around so that you have plants around you. It has to be neat and clean. You have clean water because water is extremely useful for the survival of living organisms. Now, this is something which we dream of where you have everything around you should be clean. But unfortunately, the reality is quite different. So the reality is something like this, where when you go to a river, this is how the river looks. You just look at it. It is so dirty. It is all the, the shores of the seas are all full of the waste products being thrown there. It doesn't even look like a river or an ocean or a sea or a pond. It just looks like a dustbin. The way we treat the dustbin present inside our house, in a very similar way these rivers or other water bodies are also treated. So they are no more rivers, they are just dustbins. If you look at the streets, they are overcrowded with multi-story buildings and with vehicles, so many vehicles and honking on each other. Uh, the emission coming out of the vehicles contains so much of smoke. So it is all smoky when you walk on the street. In fact, many of the times there is not even enough space for the pedestrians to walk and even if you are somehow able to walk, I mean, you don't feel like breathing. That's because whatever you are breathing in is nothing but smoke and dust. So that's how the streets actually look like. If you try to look at the greenery, instead of greenery what you see is all the forests being cut down. I would not say all, but so many of the forests have already been cut down just for our own benefit. Sometimes we need wood to build furnitures. Sometimes we need them, we need that entire land of the forest for constructing a factory. Sometimes we need uh, the plant products for preparing some medicines or for preparing some objects which are beneficial to us. So due to some or the other reason, we ourselves cut down forests and that's how we reduce greenery and by choice we do that. So that's what we see there. Again, at the same time, we see that the population keeps on increasing, the number of people are increasing continuously. So everybody needs space to live, everybody needs food to eat and to meet the demand of the ever increasing population, we are trying to increase the crop productivity. How? By applying chemicals to the crops. 
we apply pesticides, insecticides, uh, chemical fertilizers and whatnot and applying too many chemicals to the crops, it is actually deteriorating the quality of the crops. It is also polluting the soil. It is also affecting the persons who are eating those crops. And that is why these days they have come up with a new concept of organic shops who sell organic fruits and vegetables. That is, those fruits and vegetables which have been cultivated with minimum use of chemicals. But the question is, why do we need all these? What is the need of applying things which are not, which are going to harm our environment, right? So the smoke coming out, because of this industrialization, we see harmful chemical substances and toxic materials and smoke coming out of industries and factories. And that is actually causing a lot of pollution. So this is the reality. So what are we dreaming of? I mean, maybe that was existing a long time back. So a pollution-free environment was there some time back. But now with uh, development of technology, our lives have become easier to some extent when we have industries and factories manufacturing so many uh, varieties of goods for us which are uh, useful to us. So obviously our lives are becoming better in one way but at the same time we are going worse in another way. So we are also creating causes which can lead to our day. So that's how a lot of human beings, a lot of living organisms are also dying on the other hand. So that is the current scenario. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.